So to start off this hair tutorial, you're going to need the Outre closure and three packs of hair. I had two hair in the color one and one pack in the 1B slash 30. All products will be listed in the description box. Okay, so I was inspired to do this wig by a wig that I saw online and I figured that I would make it because it would just be more affordable. So basically I'm using the glue gun method and I am pre-measuring the hair and putting it to the back of the cap using the glue gun and pressing it in. That's just the easiest and fastest way for me. That's the way that I like it. Um, this dome cap is not the normal dome cap that I use because it was like crazy big. And you'll see at the end that I'll actually have to end up cutting the dome cap um, to fit. And I actually also put like an elastic band in the back to fix my to fit it to my head. Like, why is the dome cap big? It was it. I just didn't like this dome cap. But yeah, back to what I'm doing um glue some hair at the back of the head okay so this is after one pack of hair i did put the tracks very close just because i wanted a very full wig and now i am starting on the side for the first pack i just really concentrated on the back this side i'm using the second pack of the color one to do it on my sides and at this point i put i kept putting the closure on top of the head to make sure that i was leaving enough room for the closure. Okay, this is two packs of hair and notice that I tried to keep it even all the way around making the U-shapes and now I'm getting ready to put in the colored hair. Um, this is the ombre hair you can use where it's all 30 as well. And so basically I'm just filling it in all the way around keeping the U-shape. Um, yeah, so you'll see what I'm talking about as I'm doing it. I actually burn myself with the glue gun if you're wondering why I have a blue makeshift band-aid while this was happening I got like third degree burns on my finger with the glue gun it was insane anyway so this is the U shape that I'm talking about and keeping it and now I'm kind of finishing up the pack of the last hair and I am putting on the closure before putting on the closure I did put the dome cap on my head to make sure that I was placing the closure right which is why I'm placing it so far back I also plucked the closure around the part just to widen it and make it look more realistic and I did cut away the excess dome cap because as I said it was really big and I sewed in an elastic band into it to make it stay on my head. Now going back to the curling part um, or the styling part, I got the top part of the brownish blondish hair and I cut it um, just to make the black part more apparent. And so it looks like I'm, well, I am cutting all the way across, but then I use the technique. You could use a razor. It would probably, probably been better if I used a razor, but I didn't feel like getting up. So then I got the scissors and I put it at a slant so that it wasn't as blunt. And I just did this all the way around my head. Okay, so this is the rough draft of what it's looking like. I probably went in and trimmed some more, but I'm not going to show you all that. So after I finished styling, I just got a flat iron and I really focused on curling the top part of the blonde piece just to get the style that I want. And I bumped like I just basically flat ironed and curled a little bit the black piece just to give the top part a more curlier effect. You'll see what I'm talking about when I at the end of the video. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys another day, another time. Bye, YouTube.